Hello, my name is Kate. I'm a communication expert, and this is a video of Antrox Academy of how to start a profitable GSM termination business. And now I will tell you how to become a GSM terminator in five easy steps. So step number one, you need to choose a country for GSM termination, because not every country is profitable for doing this business. And now let's check out the map to see some examples. Okay, people, so there are a lot of countries around the world, but not every country is really profitable for doing GSM termination business. It depends on two main things. First, the local tariff of GSM operators, and the second one is the cost of international call. For example, in Salvador, the local tariff in this country would be approximately one cent for a minute of the call. But the transit operator would pay to GSM Terminator around 9 cents for a minute of this call. We can easily see that the GSM Terminator will get the margin of 8 cents for a minute of this call, which is quite a good amount. So we can consider Salvador a good country for GSM Termination. Now let's see some other examples of good countries for GSM termination. For example, Balkan countries can be considered a very good option for doing GSM termination business. For example, Serbia. Serbia is considered to be the most profitable country for GSM termination in the Balkan region. The average cost of local call in Serbia is around 3 cents for a minute of this call. The transit operator pays to GSM Terminator around 20 cents for a minute of this call. So the margin for GSM Termination in this case will be around 17 cents for a minute of the call, which is really good. But not really every country is good for GSM Termination. For example, United Kingdom where the local tariffs are really high. As a result, the GSM Terminator in this country will get less than one cent for a minute of this call. Now you can see, guys, that the choice of the country for GSM Termination is crucially important. But no worries if your local tariff plans are not really good for this as far as you can choose the neighborhood country. So, the second step is, before making your dreams come true and becoming a great GSM Terminator, you need just to go through the following steps of making your business, which is basically and firstly, making a business plan. So, in your business plan, you need to calculate the following expenses. Firstly, buying equipment. The second thing, which is very important, is buying and recharging your SIM cards. The third thing is electricity and also internet expenses. And the fourth and the last thing here is some additional expenses, if necessary. So now let's talk about equipment. So for doing successful GSM termination business, you need to preferably buy the premium quality equipment. The very important thing about your GSM termination equipment is that hardware and software would be made by one vendor. This is very important because uh, sometimes mobile operator would block your SIM card. And if you buy cheap equipment for GSM termination, it will happen very often, so that you won't be getting your profit. The approximate cost of high and premium quality gateway 
is around and starts from three and a half thousand of American dollars. Buying SIM cards is a very important thing in doing GSM termination business. We put emphasis on this because in some countries it's really difficult to get um, a various numbers of SIM cards. So we offer you to use the service of special resellers of this. Uh, for doing successful GSM termination business, you also need to consider good and high-quality internet connection and as well electricity. So, as the first step, you need to calculate the expenses and choose the best quality services. Additional expenses can include, for example, uh, location, rental, uh, services of engineers and technicians, and so on. So you need to consider this in your budget. So as you can see now, guys, before starting this GSM termination business, you need to consider your budget. So you need to calculate all the costs and consider if you got this money, this investment for starting this business. In case you have not enough money to do this business, you just need to find partners and cooperate in terms of uh, doing this successfully and profitably. So the step number three is about technical and organizational aspects of your future business. First, you need to find a place where your equipment will be situated. In order to be sure of your own safety, it is desirable to have a solution with separate architecture, which means you need to think ahead about several locations for the position of GSM gateways with a significant distance from each other. For example, in different cities or in different regions of a common city. A common practice is to locate the transmitting equipment in the places with crowds of people, such as business centers. This approach makes it much more difficult for mobile operators to detect and block your SIM cards. Another important issue is a quality of your internet connection. Make sure that you have a high-speed internet. Also consider having an encrypted internet channel between the separate equipment elements, such as gateways and SIM boxes, through your personal VPN server. This recommendation is based on the fact that in some countries internet providers, as we know internet providers often can be GSM operators, analyze the VoIP traffic and block it. In conclusion, we would like to emphasize the importance of choosing the right tariff plans of local mobile providers. As mentioned before, the main trick is that the less you are paying for calls within the operator's network, the higher your profit is. So step number four is choosing equipment. A very important fact you need to know to have a successful termination business is that cheap inferior equipment costs you much more in long term because of SIM blocking and technical issues. Only the high quality solutions with advanced and adjustable software ensure the long life of your SIM cards in different regions and minimize expected and unexpected expenses. Even if you have less funds than the cost of chosen optimal hardware configuration, it is better to find the ways of attracting investors or to postpone the purchase for a while until you can afford the premium hardware. There are countless cases of GSM terminators who tried starting cheap and got nothing in the end. The step number five is looking for a customer. So, you have successfully completed the preparation and everything is ready for voice traffic termination. The question left is how are you going to find the companies which will send voice traffic to your way and how not to sell your route to cheap. So, as we already understood, you can sell your traffic to small transit operators. 
So basically, your customers are small transit operators. So not to have some hard time looking for your customers, it's better to choose the small transit operator, which is at the same time the vendor of the equipment. So these were the five steps for successful GSM termination. I hope it will help you to launch and do your business successfully. So stay with us, stay with Antrix Academy.